All right, hey everyone, and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday, where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you. I'm Brittany Carmichael, the founder of Shine School and the Shine from the Inside Oracle, which is coming in handy like crazy right now because we are going through a massive time of change and transition, and when we can't fall back on our habits, we have to create rituals that help us feel stable and balanced and grounded. And for me, oracle cards, reading tarot cards, and journaling have always been a part of my self-care routine. And I have been diving in deep during this time while I, you know, I'm not working in the hair salon anymore. I just found out yesterday my hair salon will be closed until May 1st. And so I've got plenty of time on my hands right now. And right before I hopped on here live, I, um, I have like inspirational quotes that pop up on my computer. And it said, you know, a year from now, you'll wish you started today. Wow. What a great perspective to remind us that in a year from now, things are gonna be completely different and things are gonna be a new sense of normal. We never go back to the same way. It's always evolving and changing. And so what will your new normal look like? So for me, it is always tuning in in the morning, catching up with my soul, asking myself, what do I really need most right now? And filling up my cup before I even show up to serve anyone else. So now that I'm here, I'm, I'm showing up. I wanna know who's tuning in live. Let me know where are you watching from? How are you doing? Like so many changes are happening right now. What's going on in your world? Um, I'm just gonna tune into the comments. Bridget, Daphne's here, Megan, Lisa. So good to see you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's just so incredible to be here with you at this time and you know, when I look for the silver lining, you know, that's my perspective on life is how do we find the silver lining so that we can find the good in any given moment. And the good right now is that I have plenty of time to hang out with you. I was on a coaching call earlier with one of my clients and she's like, I know you're really busy. I'm like, well, I was. And now half my schedule just got wiped out. So I told Chris like, wow, we really have to like decide what is April gonna look like for us. So it's April 1st and it's a new opportunity for a fresh start. March was like kind of for all of us where we're like all in the like hanging out and in the flow and in the flux and like I don't know what's happening. We don't really know like changes going on, maybe quarantine, maybe not, like toilet paper, I don't know. We're all kind of confused and now we're kind of like, oh, this is about to be our new reality and we're moving into acceptance phase. So I wanna know, where are you at during this entire experience? Have you been affected by this? Are you freaking out? Are you kind of going with the flow and enjoying the downtime? Like, let me know how you're doing. March was fucked up. <laughs> well, that sums it up right there. <laughs> I posted yesterday. Uh, in case you need a reminder, it's March 97th. <laughs> Chris talked to me this morning. He goes, do you think people will do any kind of April Fool's joke? I was like, not if they don't wanna be chastised for it because right now is not really good time to like pull any kind of chain or Lego or whatever that you know pull the wool over someone's eyes like we just not a good idea to do that right now hey from Vegas so excited to catching you live Laura yay you guys are awesome Sarah's here exactly acceptance phase yeah now we're starting to move into that acceptance phase and you know it kind of it starts to feel a little bit better when we move into acceptance you know I'm always asking you to just reach for a better feeling like what feels a little bit better in the moment and when we look for the silver lining we find that positivity it helps us to move up that emotional scale and acceptance helps us to um, move past anger you know when something's unfair or it changes it's really important for us to just be okay with how we feel but then to ask ask ourselves like what does this feeling represent and how can I reach for something that feels a little bit better and that typically involves us finding a positive solution to adjust or make those changes we need in our life to 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 meet the moment you know to be able to show up in the present and to to be able to flow with what's changing so all right, I'm just gonna catch up with your comments. It's so good to see you guys. All right, I'm gonna pull a card from the Shine From The Inside Oracle. You guys know, I. it's so funny. We just launched last month and now Amazon is like, yeah, you know, we're gonna just like put a hold on your product. Like, I don't think so. So um, if you want to support the Shine From The Inside, now would be really awesome. Uh, now would be a really awesome time because uh, Amazon is literally the only place you can get it unless right now. Right now, see, here's, here's the positives, okay? Right now, if you're an international goddess and you've been wanting to get your hands on the Shine From The Inside Oracle, I will personally ship you an oracle. If you reach out, send me a DM, a message, whatever, 
with your PayPal email address and your mailing address, I will whip up an invoice for you and I will personally handwrite you a note and send you this deck because right now Amazon is not shipping overseas. So as sad as it is, <laughs> they are shipping in the US, so support the deck by checking it out. And if you already have it, which it seems like a lot of you do, please leave a review on Amazon. It would mean the world to me to get this beautiful empowerment tool into the hands of other like-minded like lightworkers who need this kind of empowering message during this time. Hello from the UK. Um, so much fearful energy coming from society. I know I'm PMSing this week and so I'm like really tuning into the collective and I'm like, whoa, I just, I told Chris, oh, the card just fell onto my leg. <laughs> Perform a random act of kindness. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can, hold on. We're gonna, whoa, it's like so bright in here today. I'm, maybe. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> All right, perform a random act of kindness. So this is interesting that it literally just fell out into my lap um, because now is a really good, there's more, like cards are just, cards are flying people. I don't know, like this deck is so magical. I've Today someone told me a story that they had a card fall out and they said, wow, that's definitely my card. Hold on guys. And then uh, she shuffled the deck and said, okay, for real, now I'm gonna pick a card. And she picked the exact same card. So it's so incredible to see how magical this deck is in each and every one of your lives and how it's showing up and the messages that are coming through. Someone told me that they kept pulling the forgiveness card over and over and over every single day. She said she cycled through all the people that she thought she needed to forgive and finally she had an experience where she realized that she was supposed to forgive herself and when she did that, she didn't pull the card anymore. So it's like really incredible how in alignment and connected these cards are. So thank you for sharing. Okay, car a whole cluster, to two cards just came up. We're just gonna roll with it today. So thank you for sharing how these cards are inspiring you and your life. I appreciate it so much. All right, I'm gonna shuffle with the intention that we receive the message that we need most from this, oh, there it is, from this oracle to help us stay connected to our self-care rituals and to fight through the fear that's arising, even if it's not our own. So many of us as empaths are picking up right now on so much collective anxiety and stress and fear, even if it's coming from your family, your community, or anything like that, we are, we're we're picking up on that. And so we have to really decipher, is this energy our own? And is this healthy and is this helping me? All right, I'm gonna set these cards aside and actually, well, this will kind of give away what we didn't pull, but I just wanna show you guys. So if anyone hasn't seen the Shine From The Inside Oracle, this is, my latest creation with the illustrator Jenna Kane. She did such a great job at bringing all of the lessons inside of my um, empowerment school, Shine School, to teach you how to be your authentic self. Here's that forgiveness card we were talking about earlier. She just kept pulling it and kept pulling it until she finally forgave herself. All right, how many of you guys have this deck already in your hands? I see some of you who I've personally signed the deck for you guys, so I know you're here watching. Thank you for the support. Now, I pulled uh, four cards for this week. You never know how many are gonna pop out because this deck really is magical. So let's tune in and see what message we need right now to focus on to keep our self-care um, number one priority. Oh. <laughs> Stay away from drama today and every day, literally. Okay, so let's do a drama detox. Is there anybody, anything, any any TV shows, even watching drama on TV, like The Housewives, will drain your energy. And we're talking about impasse here and picking up on all that sensitive energy. If we're picking up on all this fear and anxiety, you think watching the Kardashians is gonna help? No, probably not. It's going to start draining your energy. So think about where do you have drama in your life right now and how can you withdraw from that drama? How can you start tuning in and finding your own sense of peace and typically for me, it's getting in nature. I love getting away from all the city, all the people, all the distractions and connecting back to our source of wisdom. And so for me, a walk in the woods with lots of trees always brings me that sense of peacefulness and, and groundedness that I search for. Drama drains our energy. And so it's important for us to disconnect from anything that is bringing us down. So take a moment to do some drama detox and imagine those people, those events, those maybe even negative thoughts that you're creating the own dramas in your head, which is half of you. 
begin to be thinking about those as attachments on a cord and imagine as if you're cutting those away. So any person that you have any kind of drama with, Im imagine that cord between you and them and just use your imagination to just like cut those cords so you're releasing all of that drama. You know, some of these visualizations are techniques we use in meditation and I don't know if you guys have been tuning into the 14 days of elevation, but it has been so amazing to join you guys every day to bring you new meditation techniques with my husband, Chris. We love helping you guys create those massive transformations and they start with mindset shifts. So let's see what else comes up for the week. I'm just going to say hello. Hey guys. Hey Jen. All right. Next card. Ooh, set your intentions with heart and soul. This came up with the other card. Remove the limiting labels you're wearing. This is one of my favorite cards. I'm going to get in close for all of you guys and you can see, uh, Eh, hold on. You guys can see some of the words on here. Lacking, can't, unhealthy, fat, bitch, slut, um, unintelligent, ignorant, empty, unattractive, timid, lazy, um, frail. These are labels that have been given to us in the past or we've put on ourselves. We've allowed ourselves to feel and also paired with set your soul, set your intentions with heart and soul. This is showing me that we have not been giving ourselves permission to really dream big and dream as authentic as possible for ourselves. We've been putting ourselves in other people's, um, priorities. We've been allowing other people's expectations to dictate the direction that we go. We've been, uh, people pleasing and maybe following our parents desires or our spouse's desires because we think that's the way that we should go but what this is showing me is that you're those those negative labels that you keep saying like i can i'm not smart enough i don't have this enough or whatever enough is showing me that that's just stopping you from really getting in touch with who you authentically are and when when you start to remove those labels and you peel back all of those doubts and those beliefs that you've been thinking are real and thinking that's who you are it starts to show you you your true intentions your true heart and soul and from that space you can start to take aligned action but we can't even get to fathom how that's a possibility until we start to address the fact that we are wearing labels that limit us so one of the lessons one of the activities I had the girls do at the shine tribe Ret goddess retreat we did in Destin thank God it happened in February so that we could make it happen before all of this but one of the most powerful exercises I had them do was place labels on their chest where they had written those limiting labels and those negative beliefs that hold them back. And when I sh and I shared that that's what we're gonna do, people were like, I don't wanna wear that. I don't wanna wear that. I'm like, honey, you do every day, 24 hours a day on the inside. So why are we so afraid to then show it on the outside for five minutes on an exercise? And the thing that, sh the thing that taught me and shifted me, which I mean, obviously is why I'm doing this and why I show up all the time for this work to teach you guys shining from the inside, is when she placed those labels on her chest, she began to bawl, cry. And I looked at her and said, what's wrong, honey? And she said, I'm so mean to myself. And I could immediately relate to her, which is the exact feeling I had. Why do I hate myself so much? Why am I being so mean to myself? And when we're being mean to ourselves, we can't be on our own team. We can't connect with our soul and our intuition because she's over in the corner crying because you've been beating her up for your whole life. So it's really important for us to, to tune in. What are those labels that you carry for yourself? Are they empowering ones? Because that's what we did after that. We ripped up all those labels, we threw them away, and we wrote new words that were empowering, that helped us to support our dreams. And then we wore those around proudly. And that is the first step in shifting the way that you just show up and the way that you feel about yourself. Because it's the way that you feel that dictates how you show up and the energy that you bring to any given situation. And if you feel like shit, you're probably not gonna stay step outside your comfort zone and take courageous action to go after your dreams. Okay, really quick, I just wanna say happy birthday to Isa who's watching live. I know today is her birthday and since you just popped up, I wanna give you special love and sparkle magic while you're here and after this last card, I will pull you a birthday card, so stick around. Okay, last card, oh, holy smokes. I mean, psychic or psychic, get back to nature and reconnect with your hippie roots. This is the perfect, ex get, get away from drama and get back to your mom. Okay, actually I was wearing a sweatshirt right before this that said um, love your mama and it's a picture of the earth So how funny is that? <laughs> 
Uh, so this is a reminder like, listen, the, an the answer is found within, the answer is within nature. All of the cures to our problems are found within nature. And it, it just takes a moment to unplug from this crazy reality and disconnect to reconnect with the real reality within. And I think it's it, it only starts to happen when you give yourself space and time to get quiet and to remember. And when we're busy trapped in our to-dos and, and busy hustling from this, task to this one it's so easy to miss that gentle whisper of your soul and you know today's meditation on 14 days of elevation we talked about accessing your intuition we opened up your third eye and what what a great uh card to end on with getting back to nature because it you know when we get back to nature we get back into the flow and the rhythms of life and we realize that we are cyclical beings and that things come in seasons and things change and so when we can realize so many people say i'm afraid of change but the truth is change is happening all the time so it's really important for you to understand that it's not change we're afraid of but rather acceptance of what really is happening in our life and when we can accept what is we begin to end the suffering because we're no longer trying to be somewhere that isn't right in front of us and that helps us bridge the gap and live in the present moment and you know gratitude is one of those powerful ways to bring us back into the present moment and to realize that we really do have a beautiful life even if it's not the way we planned on it sometimes there's blessings in disguise but it takes uh you getting quiet stepping away from that drama getting out from those negative labels and the fears and the beliefs that stop you from accessing that inner joy and that inner truth so Happy birthday, aw, yeah, you're welcome, Isa. Okay, I'm gonna pull a card for you for your birthday. I'm gonna put all these back in here too because you just never know. <laughs> all right, while um, I'm shuffling cards, everyone send some sparkle magic to Isa for her birthday. So cool, she's been an elevator, she's been in Shrine School, she has been an awesome supporter um, of Team Carmichael and this will be my way of showing you a little extra love. All right, Isa, this is your birthday reading from me Woo, hello hold on cards are trying to come out <laughs> all right isa what's your birthday wish be thinking about that oh yay so cool to see you guys sending so much love hit your hit the hit the hearts and send them to isa okay her birthday card is look for the signs and synchronicities wow what a beautiful card and a reminder that you are spiritually waking up and that the signs are always around you that you are always being reminded that uh, there is magic in every moment and that if you just take a moment to relax and disconnect from all the thoughts and the judgments you'll actually find the beauty that is in each moment being presented to us and when we can focus even if it's just one thing I always challenge people like even in the harshest worst most toxic environments can you challenge yourself to find that one positive thing that one good thing and then what you focus on expands you'll end up finding ways to shift your perspective to where maybe before it seemed dark but with the shift in perspective what they say is a miracle you can see the light so thank you so much for being here thank you isa for always loving and sharing up sh showing up and sharing our wisdom and all of that support it's incredible to to have such a cool community like you guys thank you so much for tuning in to woo woo wednesday if there's anything that you guys need please reach out i have been sending resource after resource to people someone asking how do i deal with the anxiety or what do i do to reclaim my power or set better boundaries or create a better morning routine because i am screwed up right now like whatever you need reach out because over the last however many years i've been showing up for you guys i've created a ton of free content so just reach out i'll send you some free resources and i appreciate you guys tuning in here on woo woo wednesday for your dose of spark magic I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for the 14 days of elevation Chris will be leading you through a beautiful meditation at 11 11 a.m. Central Standard Time here on social media so we will see you guys tomorrow for another powerful series of meditations thank you guys so much for tuning in peace